somehow from just my brother's login name, letter J, they was able to get his full name and full email. And now he was threatening me. This video is brought to you by War Thunder, but more on that later. Hey guys, it's Pip, and welcome to part three of my deep dive into the world of RuneScape luring. In part one, I revealed a new lure where a very, very high level player will pretend to be your friend with the intention of misleading you into falling for a lure. Then in part two, I went undercover on my brother's account. I even made an alt discord account and got in call with a lure and managed to anti-lure him for over 700 mil. Dad! <laughs> oh my fucking god. I would go back and watch part two if you haven't seen it because you'll need the context for this video because as it turns out, lures don't really like when you anti-lure them. Because 20 minutes after I left the call with a lure whose name was Day, I got this DM. I was using my brother's account and just from his RuneScape name, Day was able to find his full name and login email. And it looked like he was using it to blackmail me. Keep in mind, Day doesn't even know I'm gonna make a video about this. He is just this mad over losing about a hundred or two hundred dollars worth of RuneScape gold. And when I got this DM, I was actually pretty scared. I had no idea how he got my brother's name and login email just from the RuneScape name. And then I thought, well, if I was trying to find information on this guy, I would just Google letter J O S R S. And I did that. And there was a comment from eight years ago where my brother said his RuneScape name on his Reddit account. So I'm assuming they stalked my brother for like 10 or 15 minutes on Reddit and just found his real life name and email. Looking back at it now, it does seem a bit obvious, but when I first got this DM, I had no idea how they got his real name and email, and I had no idea what these guys were actually capable of. And unfortunately, I had stopped my recording, and I thought the interaction was over, so I don't have my reaction to the first bit of these DMs. I didn't think I would make a video on this, so I didn't really turn on my recorder until things start getting juicy. So I just have screenshots for the first bit. Also, you might notice I'm not blurring his profile picture anymore. That's because day after I uploaded my last video completely changed his Discord. Turns out it wasn't a burner. Bro was just using his Discord account to lure people. But enough context, let's get into the DMs. I had no idea how to respond, so I decided to just bluff and say that's not my account, which was true, which did not work at all. I said rip whoever owns the account which is my brother. So I try to calm him down and say, it's really not that deep. He says he's worth 2 million, which I think we all know is a lie. And then he tells me he's just trying to let me know that you don't fuck with lures because apparently they'll dox you and threaten you if you mess with them. And that lures and people that hack RuneScape accounts are in the same community. And as I'm talking today, trying to convince him that none of this is necessary, I get a friend request from a second Discord account. He went by the name Ghosty, and this is where I turned my recorder on because this guy was so unhinged it was crazy, which we will get to right after today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, and it is available now for free on PC and consoles. You can take command of over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships of 10 major nations. The combat in War Thunder is also so immersive. It has incredibly detailed vehicles, realistic graphics, and authentic sound effects that place you right at the helm of the most powerful war machines of our time. War Thunder really has an unmatched wealth of high quality content to discover. There's simply no game better suited for fans of military history. Also, War Thunder just released its Alpha Strike update, which includes a new awesome ground map based in Northern Holland. So join a worldwide community of over 70 million players. You can sign up with my link in the pinned comment or description to get a massive bonus pack. This bonus pack is available across all platforms for new and returning players who haven't played in the last six months. For a limited time only, you can get a 100,000 Silver Lions, the exclusive vehicle decoration, the Eagle of Valor, seven days of premium account, and so much more. It's only for a limited time, so make sure you don't miss it. I had just gotten a friend request from a second lure, and this guy was totally different than Day. He was way more aggressive. So I decided to start recording what I was being DM'd. Dude, what is happening right now? Look, man, I was just having some fun in the sun. No hard feelings. Why am I being threatened over RuneScape gold? Why do these guys take this game so seriously? What is this? Tried to have fun in the... Bro, we're playing RuneScape. 
won't happen again. Dude, this guy is so cringe. What hood? You're about to have a whole lot more fun now, buddy boy. Either pay up or you done get fucked. Like, what? All right, this guy just says I have 15 minutes to give back the 700 mil I took from them or else I'm fucked and in big trouble. What, what, is, what does that even mean? Maybe I should ask Day. That guy was way nicer. This guy's this guy's so aggressive. I asked Day earlier who this guy was and he just said it was his friend who networks, whatever that means. Dude, he's just giving a bunch of vague threats. What, what is uh, what is a script kitty? I don't, what does that mean? What is a script kitty? How am I supposed to make a decision if you don't give me specifics? Like this guy just says, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna get fucked up. You're in trouble, but he's not threatening anything. He's just saying random vague threats. The vague threats continued until he finally got specific. Better have an excuse ready for your parents and grandparents. What's this guy gonna do to my grandma though? What the heck? Is he gonna kill my grandma? He kept threatening me and trying to get me to give back the 700 mil. And he said I had four more minutes left or else he would run my shit endlessly, whatever that means. And at this point I was scared and I was kind of considering giving back the 700 mil just so I didn't have to deal with this and my brother wouldn't have to deal with this. If it was just me, I probably would never ever give it back, but I really didn't want to drag my innocent brother into this. So I had a tough decision to make and Ghosty said I only had two minutes left. While I make my decision, don't forget to subscribe. If you like these types of videos, I'll probably make more in the future. So why not subscribe? It's free. Did you really think I was going to give this 700 mil back to the lures? Of course not. It's staying in my bank. Well, I guess it's time for Ghosty to run me endlessly, whatever that means. You made the wrong choice. Good luck. This guy is like a like a Bond villain or something. What is this guy? This guy is a cosplayer. Dude, he's just saying my brother's real life name in game. He's following me, spamming me. What is this? Oh, they think I'm a YouTuber now. I didn't say it earlier, but they kept referencing Swede Badass and thought I was a friend of Swede Badass because the account that my friend used to anti-lure them was actually a shared account that Sweet Badass also used in his most recent video. And just for context, Sweet Badass goes by Nils sometimes, so if you see Nils, that is Sweet Badass. And now they think someone is making a video on it, which makes them even more mad, and they threaten to take down the video as soon as it's up, which they can't really do, and right now part one and two are still up, so they clearly didn't. These guys were so full of shit, it was insane. This guy was the biggest yapper I had ever met, and the next thing he said was absolutely wild. And it isn't even the craziest thing he says in this video. You don't go to Mexico and jack a brick from the cartel without consequences. Dude. What is that? Why? Why does he think he's the cartel? <laughs> he, he's playing RuneScape. He's not a drug kingpin. He's pl you're playing RuneScape. And then Day starts DMing me again, and they're doing this weird good cop bad cop where Day is trying to be my friend, and this ghosty guy doesn't give a fuck at all and just wants to ruin my life. But Day is like, "No, we can still solve this. Come call me." So he keeps yapping about peasants or something, and then he says, if you use the priv clip in your video, we will never stop running your shit. Which is exactly what he said he would do if he didn't give the 700 mil, and nothing happened. So at this point, I decided I cannot take these guys seriously. So I just tell him I'm gonna use the priv clip, and then he makes a group chat with all three of us, me, Day, and Ghosty. And they continue with the good cop, bad cop thing. Day says, if you don't put the clip in, we'll leave you alone. I don't really care about the money. Just don't use the clip. And then Ghosty says, I gotta admit, he has a way with words. Our possibilities are endless. If you use the clip, you'll regret it. Most likely for the rest of your life. And at this point, they just kept backpedaling and making vague threats. And it was just talking in circles over and over again. So I decided they probably weren't going to do anything. And I stopped responding to them. And they just kept going on and on for another like 10 minutes, even though I stopped responding. And so I stopped recording and closed Discord, but when I came back the next day, I saw they were still yapping, and I think Ghosty sent me the funniest DM I have ever read. Am I stupid, or can anyone tell me what the fuck? It's a David Goliath situation, and unfortunately for you, you're neither of those. I'm neither David nor Goliath. Like, what does that mean? This guy is actually just on another plane of existence. He's so fluent in Japanese, it's insane. 
This guy that just types and doesn't think about anything. I'm honestly kind of jealous. I wish I recorded my reaction to this because I just could not stop laughing for like a minute straight. So anyways, despite the threats, I went ahead and uploaded part one of the Lurr Saga, which didn't really have Day or Ghosty in it, but now they knew who I was. And I got this nice DM from Ghosty calling me a Giga Chad. I'm just kidding. He called me fat and said he was going to make me run, which I don't, I don't, I still don't know what this guy's saying. I don't know what that means. Is he going to be like my basketball coach and make me run drills or something? I, I don't get it. And then I uploaded part two, which had Day and Ghosty in it. And this is the last DM I ever received from Ghosty. I think they've kind of just given up. They never ended up really doing anything, but maybe now that I've uploaded part three, they will do something and there'll be a part four. Who knows? Honestly, I'd be down. Go see, hit me up, do some crazy shit. Let's make a part four. I, I can get another sponsor, make some money. You know what I'm saying? Oh, also speaking of sponsor, make sure you go check out today's sponsor, War Thunder. Play the game now for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using my link in the pinned comment or video description. Those of you who haven't played War Thunder yet or are returning after a break of at least six months will receive a massive bonus pack, including premium vehicles, 100,000 silver lions, and seven days of a premium account.